Welcome to the Blockchain Report. Today, I'll be covering a little project called the Lazy Llamas. Now, this is a Cardano-based NFT project that has been out since about January, I believe. And they have a, a pretty hefty roadmap. Um, they have a lot going down, coming down the, the works. Uh, they've got a lot going on. They put out a lot of stuff. They've got collaborations with other NFT projects that, you know, even some blue chip NFT projects. And, you know, they're really trying to, to make a name for themselves. And they also have a pretty, pretty big following. There's links to their store where you can buy the llamas. They have serums um, where you can mix and serums with the llamas and create some pretty interesting combinations. Um, this is the lab where you uh, blend the serum and the NFT together and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll touch more on that later on. They have a, their lazy token. Um, this will be used to buy different things in their, their little metaverse, so to speak. They don't have one specifically, but they are partnering with a metaverse project. As you see here, Lazy Island, this is the, um, the partnership with Ada Realm, uh, the metaverse project in Cardano. And these are the, the serums. Uh, a little more on the serums. Uh, we'll, we'll dive more on all of this in the white paper. Uh, you know, here's the roadmap. Yeah, actually, December, um, they, they launched um, got Lazy, La Lazy Island in the lab, launch a, I can't even speak this afternoon, launch of Lazy Island V1, launch of the lab. They did have some issues uh, when they first launched the, the first tier um, mutations, and there were some traits characteristic issues that weren't matching up and some of the details weren't very good so they you know, the devs got on it real quick and they they ironed everything out so they're very active I'll show you in the discord and they're very active in their community and they solve problems fast when they arise so that's good to see good to see a project that's that's taking the time to develop and and fix things and not just put it out and say, okay, well, this is the best we got. Um, they plan on launching a, a DAO for their, for their token, their governance token. Um, you can also vote, you'll be able to vote on proposals and stuff in the community, uh, stuff that affects the community and the project. The Q3, uh, now some of this may be pushed out. You know, Q2, I don't, know how on track they are with um with their DAO and the vault but they are airdropping tokens to people to holders of the different nfts the different serums and even lazy island if you hold plots of land you'll get airdropped i believe it's the m middle of each month i don't remember the date but they take a snapshot and you get a certain amount of lazy tokens um, for what you hold. And also if you're a lazy llama holder, if you have, I forget what the different requirements are, but you'll get airdropped their new llama boxes. And this is a similar play to, uh, to the Boss Cat Rocket Club boxes that came out recently. So this is, you know, avatars to play in the metaverse, to play with in the metaverse, and and that's a really good you know collaboration. It shows uh, that there is community, a big community excitement, and they have long term growth in mind. Um, has some of the profiles of the the founders, um, the artists. Uh, they have video they actually have videos to show the, the process of making these so that's really cool get kind of an insight and i mean look at the detail on these that's wild that's wild um 
and here's the different policies that you can check out. If we go back up, I actually have the the white paper. Well, let's check out the the Twitter first. If if you see. Sorry if you heard that loud bang. They have 14K followers. Um, the marketplace, the floor's been holding pretty good for a while. See, that's what, one thing you want to see in the a bear market is if your floor price is holding pretty steady and even increasing a little bit. So it shows some some excitement. Yeah, you got some some pretty consistent buys. So that's good to see a lot of activity and these are the different serums you know you have a tier three um, you have the clones you can clone your llama and they explain this more in the the white paper they have a mystery serum. Now, I was able to to create one of these myself. I got in early in the project, and this is where you can mix the tier one, tier two, and tier three serums to get a mystery serum. And so that's what these are, and they they explain more in the white paper about those. There's the Lazy Island floor price is very low, very cheap on these. A lot of the metaverse projects don't have a lot of hype around it now because there's there's become so many in the space that it's hard to determine whether or not they're going to survive. But it's a I would say if you want to grab a couple, they're pretty cheap and they do have some pretty good uh, partnerships or collabs <clears throat> with other NFT projects. So that's good to see. You know, if it turns out to be a nothing burger, then you know, I you still get the lazy tokens airdropped each month, so that's a little perk to to holding some of this, but you know, who knows? And this is one of the the bio mutants. I believe this is tier one. I mean, a uh, tier three. Yeah, the bio mutants are the tier three, and the floor prices. So you can get one of these right now cheaper than it would to buy them separately. The the tier three serum and the the regular uh, regular llama. So if you want to buy a mutant, um, they do have, they will have some utility later on. We'll check out the lazy paper. This came out a few months ago, so it's not relatively new, but yeah, they have the roadmap. They talk about the lab, lazy island metaverse, lazy token, holder perks, community building initiatives, future plans. So they actually take the time to dive deep into what the, the backstory, how they were created, uh, a little bit of the vision. Here's the roadmap that we saw earlier on the website. Now these, they, they knocked out. These, they, uh, well, up to here. They haven't quite got the, well, they've, they haven't launched the token, so to speak, but they've been airdropping holders, like I mentioned before. Uh, they have partnerships going on. Uh, I'm not sure about the leaderboard. I, that might be in the Discord. Um, the Full Tale of Lazy Island. Um, do they still have plans to, to knock these out? So it might be push. I think 
with the issues they had in the tier three mutations uh, lab. They needed to take some extra time to work on that. So that may have played a part in pushing this out. And then they have meetups and real life events. So that's nice, you know, the sort of like the, the Board Ape Yacht Club doing a lot of live events and shoot even opening a restaurant. <coughs> so you just never know what these projects can end up doing in the long run. So here's a little bit about the serums. So there's only 4,000 serums and I believe only 5,000 llamas. So th there's different serums um, and they dive into what those serums are. Uh, some of the llamas actually have a uh, different trait or blood type trait um, and those will interact differently with the serums. So they have some pretty cool stuff hidden in there. And I said they'll tie it into future utility. So this is what you get with the tier one. There's only 500 of these tier one. And you get these robo, robo llamas. And then tier two is the undead. There's 1500. So as you can see, after you use each one of these, they get destroyed. So that removes total circulating supply of these serums. And also when you mix the three together, you know, this is the tier three biomutant llamas that I mentioned before, I showed you before. And here's where they talk about the lab where you can use them, injection chamber, you use a llama plus a tier three. Um, and then you, it might be like a couple ADA fee and then you get a bio mutant and then similar to you know tier two when they launched the tier two uh was it the undead yeah the undead you do llama tier two and then same with tier one but mixing chamber you can mix the three together and get a mystery serum um and that's the one that i got and they have clone serums uh but this was airdropped to certain people. Yeah, top 30 air holders will be airdropped. So those were going for quite a bit. Um, yeah, and like I mentioned before, they have a carrier gene on some of them, which produces some pretty interesting effects. Then they go into the lazy island metaverse now this is just uh the lazy island partnership with ada realm basically ten thousand plots of land and they have a pretty cool little island in their metaverse uh it's separate from the ada realm i think ada, ada realm has a couple different partnerships where they have separate islands that will be part of their bigger metaverse so it's pretty neat um yeah and every even now if you hold some of the land from the secondary market you'll be able to get airdrop tokens to, and this is going to be able to use in their metaverse and in their marketplace and for merch and whatever else and pro possibly even for in real life events too if you hold a certain amount of lazy token they could allow you to pay that in you know, to get to have access to whatever event they have going on at least i think that would be a good idea give a lot more incentive to people coming to their that project's events and they dive into you know, what what you have owning the land and different perks and customizing plots. Um, yeah, the 3D llama avatars are the boxes that I showed earlier. 
So those are pretty cool. A um, little bit of the legacy token. Um, I mentioned this quite a bit earlier, so I don't need to touch on it too much. Um, this is still very early in the process, so they don't have a ton of information behind it. And a lot of projects will have this burn mechanism where a certain fraction of the tokens will be burned during transactions or minting or what, whatever they determine to burn it with. I, I'm not sure how they determine how they want to burn it, but we'll make it deflationary. Uh, seems to be a very popular thing now, which, you know, I wonder long term how that will play out. Um, because you technically can't have a, you can have everything go to zero or literally burn everything, but then you technically can't because there will be people to hold that token forever and ever. So we'll see. We'll see how a lot of these NFT projects fare with these type of utilities and if it'll actually make a big impact. And there's some future functionality uh, the hub lottos, uh, you can stake the tokens. This is very popular. Um, you're staking your tokens to get rewards. Um, can be very lucrative, but also very risky. Because if you're staking in a project that ends up going down and down and down over time, and the rewards don't make up for your losses, then you just kind of just throwing your money away and they're going to launch a, a DAO decentralized autonomous organization where they make decisions on the project and hold assets and hold their tokens and you know, if you want to make if there's a proposal that goes out to make changes in the project this is where you'll go to vote using your tokens and what you want to see, the future of the project, um, partnerships you want to see them involved with. So you kind of have a, a say, um, you know, holding the tokens and at least being involved in the community. And yeah, just a little more updates, some holder perks, uh, cross utility. Um, I'm not sure how much of this. Uh, yeah, that's no longer. Um, like I said, this was quite a few months ago, but they've been working on a lot. They got airdrops going. Um, some holder perks. Ambassador perks. I don't know too much about the the different ambassador perks, um, but I know they do offer whitelist uh, spots for other projects. So that's cool to see. Um, not sure about any philanthropy they've been involved with, but I believe that that's a future. Thing. They actually just had a another Twitter space recently. Um, they do live streams, so the future plans, mer merch drops, meetups, expanding the DeFi space with their their DAO. And then it's not you know legal disclaimers, blah blah blah. It's not legal advice. And. They have not released part three, but here's their Discord. Their Twitter's pretty big following, 14.5K. Uh, I haven't been on their Instagram, but 
the Discord's pretty pretty solid. You just show the four prices on their stuff. They are very active in the updates. You know, at least multiple updates a week. Their more recent one, they just had a live AMA yesterday. And they also have pretty frequent development developer updates. This one actually is pretty cool. This will show the the VR of Ada Realm, the project metaverse project they're working with and this is actual real VR world that they created the Ada realm so you'll be able to use your llama box in here just like this and these are all from actual NFT plots that people own So you see there's a lot of metaverse projects that don't even have this, but Ada Realm is and Actum games. So a lot of the the successful or at least promising metaverse projects have gaming companies or some type of uh, gaming or not just gaming but graphics design and 3d vr companies coming in to help because you need a huge it it's a huge development process for the metaverse and takes a lot so seeing them partnering with gaming companies and the llamas being involved with partnering with that project makes you feel a lot better or that this is a promising project and they have a lot of different I, I don't really go through a lot of this stuff too much I hold their news and I just really get my updates from here but they have a little lazy island section lazy lounge and you see they're very very active it's this is all day every day And the community is pretty cool. They're really friendly. So if you have any questions about it or want to know more, just jump in the Discord, talk to some people. And yeah, just a little update. Wanted to cover some some stuff. So you know, if there's any other news, they they do have a survey that trying to get more engagement from the community to see what they would like to see in the project. So that's pretty cool. I like when they're actually involved and engaged with the community and getting feedback and not shying away from criticism or, or any complaints that people may have. But yeah, that's all, uh, I had to cover today. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good Memorial Day. Talk to you soon.